This video will demonstrate the basic steps for using stencils, joint compound, and colorants to create the appearance of tile, brick, or stone. Complete instructions are available at drywallstencils.com. The basic steps are apply the base coat, place the stencil, apply the top coat and texture, then pull out the stencil and seal to protect. The first step is to plan your design. With dozens of patterns to choose from and a virtually unlimited combination of textures and colors, this may be the hardest part of the whole job. Examples, colors, and dimensions are available at drywallstencils.com. Measure the length and height of your wall, then multiply to determine the square footage. And add 10% to allow for waste, or 20% for rock patterns. This will be the total square footage you need to order. Our colorants are available in 35 colors and are designed to mix directly into drywall joint compound. Typically one color is used for grout lines and a contrasting color for the main pattern. Accent colors can be lighter or darker and maybe shades of your base colors or a totally different color. Visit drywallstencils.com for details on other coloring techniques including faux painting and latex paint. When you know what you want, it's time to order your stencil and colorants. Visit drywallstencils.com for secure online ordering. And once you have the materials in hand, you're ready to begin laying out your design. Measure and pre-cut your stencil according to your design, and label each piece to remind you where it goes. The stencil tends to curl in one direction. Always install a stencil with the curl towards the wall, and always run your patterns in one direction only. Don't flip or rotate the rows as you go. Details on how to align patterns are available at drywallstencils.com. Once you have the entire design pre-cut, you're ready to begin the installation. Begin by mixing the base coat. This becomes the grout color in your pattern. Starting with a clean 5-gallon bucket, mix 50 pounds of joint compound with a quarter cup of water. Mix for about 30 seconds, just enough to loosen it up. Add the colorant and mix until the color is uniform and without streaks. Do not overmix. Apply the base coat approximately 1 8 inch thick using a trowel, sprayer, roller, or drywall knife. It's not necessary to make this coat perfectly smooth, but you do want a uniform thickness. Keep a small amount of tinted base coat for later. Set the first row of stencils straight and level, then lightly trowel it into place. Working from the middle outward, smooth and flatten the stencil. It should be slightly depressed into the wet base coat. When you have the stencil where you want it, trim the excess on each end. And repeat the process until your design is complete. Allow to dry for 24 hours. Next, mix the top coat. This will become the primary color of your pattern. Mix using the same procedure as the base coat. Apply the top coat no more than 1 8 inch thick using your choice of trowel, sprayer, roller, or drywall knife. As before, save a small amount of this tinted mixture for later. The basic texture will come from the tools used to apply the top coat. Trowels, sprayers, rollers, and knives all leave a unique texture. You can enhance these basic looks in a number of ways, which are explored in our finishing techniques videos at drywallstencils.com. For this example, we're using a spray-on, knockdown technique. A sprayer is used to spatter the top coat onto the wall, then with a trowel, the high spots are smoothed out or knocked down. You'll have a fair amount of time to work with the material before it begins to harden, so you can correct mistakes or rework areas until you're happy with the results. Allow to dry for 24 hours. Find the last piece of stencil you put in. Gently pull the stencil out and inspect the underside. If base coat is sticking to the back side of the stencil, it needs more time to set. But if the stencil is coming out clean, continue to pull out one row at a time, working in reverse order from your installation sequence. Inspect the patterns and grout lines and touch up any flaws or defects using the tinted joint compound you saved earlier. When removing painter's tape, use a utility knife to score a line before pulling the tape. Use a quality clear coat protector. A high gloss sealer will boost colors and contrast, while a matte sealer will have a flatter appearance. You can see just how easy it is to dress up your drywall. 
For additional photos, patterns, videos, and more, visit drywallstencils.com.